Hey everybody, Edie here. Uh, it's been a bit since I've been uh, on video. Uh, today I thought what we would do is uh, sort of review a new collection that's out by Juvia's Place. And it's called their Nubian Collection and I've got a few pieces. It's primarily, it is, well, really what it is, is it's uh, some lips, sticks and lip glosses as well as a palette. So here's the palette. There we go. And... I'm a little perturbed at Juvia's Place. I got to follow up, but I ended up getting the palette. I ordered, uh, let's see, two of the lipsticks and two of the lip glosses and the palette from Juvia's Place. I uh, ended up just getting the, the lips products and they emailed me and said that the palette was out of stock. Now they had offered a store credit and I thought, okay, well, let me make sure I understand this. Is this a store credit for the inconvenience of you being out of stock and, is, and then uh, you will be shipping me the palette? The response was no, you have store credit and when it comes back in in about 18 months, then you can use the store credit for the purchase of the palette. See now that to me, my opinion, it's essentially stealing because I didn't get the palette. I didn't get the product that I paid for. So store credit doesn't does me no good if I can't use it like the cash that I paid for the palette somewhere else. So that's just my opinion. You know, leave your thoughts below in terms of what you think about that, because I think that's highly unfair if they can't guarantee, uh, and it's 18 months before they restock the palette. So. I ended up buying the palette at Ulta and a couple of more lip uh, sticks from um, Ulta. But uh, here's the palette itself. Uh, it's got the ingredients on the back. And it's a cool, it's a new, cool tone neutral palette. So you probably have these shades in your, um, in your arsenal. But I thought I would, I like it. So we've got a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, shimmers. Um, one definitely that looks shifty. And from what I've seen on videos, maybe another one that's a little bit shifty. And I'll um, do add some swatches. I'll show some arm swatches. And then we've got, we've got a total of five mattes, but one of the five mattes has shimmer and it's this this one right here. There are no names for uh, the um, colors, okay? And then we have, uh, there were four lip glosses and I purchased Nubian Nude and Mirage. Two of the lip glosses were shimmery and somewhat sheer. There was a little bit of pigment with them, but they were somewhat sheer. And then the other two lip glosses uh, so I essentially got one of each. The other lip glosses were more opaque, creamy looking lip glosses. And um, so Mirage is one of the shimmer ones. And I'll show you in a bit, a Nubian nude. Actually, let me go ahead and show you. And we'll do some lip swatches also, but this is uh, Mirage. And actually, let me just pull them all out. And then here is Nubian Nude. It's a cool tone chocolate brown, but it actually, when I tried it, it looks a lot like a Glam Light um, gloss that they had in their Hershey's collection. Uh, so, oh, oh, my mirror. Oh well. Um, so it actually reminds me of that. And of the four lip glosses, and what I'll do is I'll post, um, I'll flash a quick picture. My the software that I use is free, so I can't, you know, scoochie scoochie over and put a picture right next to me. So I gotta flash a picture, um, uh, and then get back into the video. So, but I'll flash a picture of all of the uh, lip the lipsticks that they had, actually of every of the uh, the lipsticks, but. This is part of, it's a all new, well, relatively new. There's some reds. So here's the packaging. This one is called Clay. And it is a deep brick red. And if you notice, there is 
a pattern on these. These look different from their nude collection that they came out a couple of years ago. Uh, those lipsticks um, were a bit more matte and then also the shape of the bullet was different, more rectangular, I think, sort of matte. And then of course, while it's a different color from the news collection, it was an ombre pink, th this part is still very much similar, other just did a different color. All right, I got uh, Morocco. Let's see, the, uh, one of the colors I did not get was Soil and I did not get Sheba. Soil was a red color. Okay, this is Morocco. So a brown, now they call this like an apricot and I have used it, but it's a little bit destroyed because when I got this, this was falling out and it may have unrolled and mashed on the top. And then when I went to also get this to, it kind of, what I used to click it down, kind of mashed it, but it's still usable, so that's okay. It's just not as pretty. But this is Morocco. They call it apricot. I have to figure out what color, because to me, apricot's an orange color. I don't see orange in that. Um, Nile. Now, Sheba, uh, like I said, soil was a reddy, orangey red. Um, and I have plenty of reds, and I didn't think that would look good on my skin tone. And Sheba... I pretty much thought I had it with, uh, in their nude collection, they had cocoa. It was a very deep brown, very pretty. I wanted it, but I was like, I essentially have it with uh, cocoa. Um, but this one is Nile. And it's a chocolatey brown. With a hint, to me, a little bit of yellow. At least when it comes out on my skin tone, the yellow in it pops out a bit more. And... The final one, like I said, I got four of the six. Two of them, when I got the palette from Ulta, I got two more of the lipsticks. I got uh, Soil and um, Nubian Sand. Nubian Sand is the lightest. And here we go. Peachy, peachy Noon. So there we go. So we'll swatch them first without uh, a lip liner, and then I will do a combo at the end uh, with the lipstick and the lip glosses and a lip liner. The lip, I'll go ahead and mention now, the lip liner I'll use is not from um, Juvia's Place. I'm gonna, I should, could, I have cold, but I'm gonna use, this is from Natasha Denona. Uh, this is her nude, I need a nude lip crayon and I purchased, uh, did it say that? I know it's Lala. I don't see it. Oh wait, there it is, Lala or N, NB5 in Lala, and it's a, um, it's a brown, cool tone brown. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with the, the eye look, and we'll just do one eye and go from there and see what we'll do. We'll just keep it, it's a basic palette. So let's see. I think what we'll do, and I, this is a brush I'm using. This is from Tres Luz. Uh, it's B105 blending brush, smallish blend, blending brush. And, oh, the, real quick, uh, my eyes are already set. And what I'm, use, what I'm using is from Ace Beauté. Th this is a new, relatively new launch from them. I bought it from BoxyCharm. But this is uh, their eyeshadow and Amplifying base in medium, so it's a, a little bit lighter shade than my skin tone. And okay, so I think what we'll do is we will start with we'll go with this shade. We're just going to do a basic eye look with this shade in the crease. Okay. Wish there was a mirror on here. <laughs> a little bit of kick up, not too bad, at least with this shade. All right, so one of the things I notice is, so we go with this eye, is I've got to make sure my big old hand doesn't get in the way. <laughs> but I found out with this eye, it's better.
and this is probably not going to show up and it's, it's not even with the lighter base it's so it's really just to lay a shade down so it's not really uh, gonna do anything for my eye I can't really tell yeah, it's basically the same color as what I laid down as you can see a bit down here okay we're gonna use the same brush and deepen it with we'll go with this brown here in the corner right here deepen the crease and the V and I'm packing and then I'm going to sort of sweep it on a little above the crease too And I'm going to blend the edge out with the earlier color that I used. There we go. A smaller brush let's see we're gonna use okay. we're gonna use this from this is a Luxie brush this is the 217 pencil oopsie and I'm gonna use the pencil brush and go into the deepest brown right here this brown with shimmer and it's We'll pack it on and then blend it. Maybe going back in with that uh, Tress Loose brush. Well, or actually, okay, yeah. I'm gonna go slightly in to the crease with this, but not far, just to the middle of the eye. that uh, trace loose branding blush with nothing on it and sort of blend that out there we go and I'm gonna take uh, another Luxi brush this is the 231 small tapered blending brush and I'm gonna go into that brown with shimmer that dark brown with shimmer just to blend it out into the crease. There we go. Okay. Bring back a little bit of those browns. There we go. 
Oh, that looks nice. I like that not nice gradient. All right, so let's see. Okay, there's this color right here, which looks like it could be deep, but on my finger, it looks more like a a bit of a topper. There's not a lot of depth to it. It does, yeah, not a lot of depth. Let's see, what about this top here? Same thing, and actually they look very similar. Yeah, here they are swatched to my hand. Yeah, I don't even remember, one's a little more shiny. I think that's the middle one that was in the middle row than the other. Let's see, how about this coppery? This copper one right here. Yeah, let's go in, there we go. Let's go into the middle of the eye. Let's do this marbled shade, but I think from what I saw on the marbled shade, it pretty much comes out. It's, I don't know if you can tell, it's, uh, let's see, not a lot going on there. Uh-oh, I just dug my finger in too. <laughs> so, let's see. This shimmer is doing. Well, this is pretty icy. We'll go in the inner corner. That's this shade right here. It's pretty icy. I think this is a. Uh, it's very. This one right here is quite chunky. It's soft, but it's very chunky. You see that? And it's iridescent. I wouldn't say it's a duochrome. I'd just say it's got an iridescent flip to it. It's sort of an opal flip. Well, maybe. Oh, maybe a bit of a green. A green flip, but quite chunky. Picked up quite a bit with that. Oh, that'll make a pretty inner corner. And that's that one right here. All right, so enough playing around. Let's go ahead and and oh no. go in with this copper shade. And I'm curious about the Tris Loose Brush. And this is their B112. It's got long bristles. I tend to find that on the Packer brushes, if it's a little more uneven, where the edge comes down a little bit more, that seems it's the edges that seem to pick up the shimmer. That's just my opinion. I'm not a, a guru by any means, but that just in terms of what I've noticed. Okay, so we're gonna wet the bro we're gonna wet this shimmer so we get the yeah, see it's not picking up. Okay, there we go. go above my fold that's okay oh all of it came off I don't know what side of it's on all right we're gonna go back into that deep brown with the shimmer blend the edge and I think what we'll do get, hopefully get rid of some of that glitter go into that first lighter shade that I used see if we can get rid of some of that glitter that I accidentally got on my well that sticks that sticks <laughs> all right so let's go in with We're gonna take this pencil brush. Let's see how this does. Let me clean it off here. And we will go into that other shimmer shade for our inner 
corner. We'll also wet, wet the brush. I always struggle with my inner corner. Yeah. I want to take Packer brush, and I want to carry that over. There we go. All right, so I'm going to go off camera and we will do the other eye and we'll uh, come back, finish up the eye. I'll finish up the, uh, I'll finish up my eyes off camera. Um, and then we'll do the lips. Okay. Okay, I am back. And on the lower lash, I put down the dark chocolate, pretty much the whole edge. But then I went back uh, and lightened on the first part of the eye. And of course, I carried down this shade right here. Of course, it carried over the lit inner part of the lid and I used it as my inner corner and then what I did just as a shadow uh, a brow bone highlight I went into this shade right here as a bit of a brow bone highlight so and then let's see for the waterline I went in with the color pop this is from the avatar collection their gel uh, uh, cream gel liner this is um, easier to see on the box um it's from their av the last airbender avatar and this is i would say it was going to be easier groundbreaker <laughs> very tiny font but groundbreaker and just to kind of show you it's a uh, a bit of a Coppery. Can you see it right here? Coppery color. Oops. And then on my lashes, I went in with fake lashes. I don't know. <laughs> um, they're from Glamnetics, and it's the Virgo uh, version. So that's the lashes. And that's the final eye look. I don't know if you guys like that. All right, so let's get into these lip swatches. Clean up my arm here. All right. So uh, let's start with the lip glosses. So we'll start with Mirage. We'll do a little hand swatch here. It's got a nice big doe foot. As you can see, it's kind of a peachy color and see there you go you see with the pigment and so let's go ahead and put that on the lips uh, it's a bit thick not too thick I think this is my first no I got a uh, in a mystery box from Juvia's place I got a, a clear gloss but I don't find them too sticky so there we go let's do a little bit just a little more so you can see it's to, for me it's not too shiny but maybe you can layer it up to get the shine that some people like but this is Mirage
Okay. And the other one that I said I had gotten was a Nubian Nude, which was a cream gloss, no shimmers in it. Same type of doe foot. Got to find on my hand where I have no shimmers so you don't get confused. It looks very cool, almost a grayish, grayish kind of color, gray brown color. Um, can barely see it, but there it is right there. So it kind of warms up. Let me put it on my inner hand there you go so a nice chocolate chocolatey brown so i can i can put this with a liner or i can go without a liner this one is a little more not the other one was a little bit sticky but this one's a little less sticky i like this one a lot better it's a little washes me out a little bit i would have to wear it with a um with a liner okay so again this is nubian nude Probably need my mirror for the lipsticks. Still looking at my eyes. I don't know if I like the lashes. <laughs> All right, so let's start with the lightest. Maybe in sand, and then it's gonna be between. After that, they're, the other three are pretty much kind of in the same line. We'll go Morocco, uh, Nile, and Clay. Since Clay has a little more pigment. All right, so Nubian Sand. There we go. It's a bit of matte or demi-matte. There we go. It's nice, soft, goes on soft, feels good, feels moisturizing, not too drying for matte. Actually, it's a, yeah, it's a bit of a matte. Yeah. So this is Nubian Sand. Definitely with a liner. Get a wet white. Might be a little bit easier. Okay. All right. So the next sheet is Morocco, and if you remember, it's this sort of, to me, a. Uh, Purplish brown. Got all this glitter on my hand. Morocco. I say purplish brown from when the looks of it, but when it goes on, it's very warm. This one I can kind of, I pretty much could get away with it by itself, but it would look great with a liner. So this is Morocco.
There we go. And the next shade is Nile, which was that brown that I thought had a hint of yellow that popped. So there you can see that it looks, you can see that when it's next to each other, it almost pulls out that red undertone. But, um, so this is like a yellow brown. Nile, Nile, right? Yeah. almost my skin tone but as you can see it's got a lit you see that yellow i don't know how well my lighting is but there we go so that's nile i think it would look good with a uh, liner And the final color is clay. Very pretty. Right? Yeah, clay. Uh, sort of an orangey brick red. But leans more brown. Let's pull the bullet down. I don't want to make it break it. There we go. Okay. Clay. All right. So I am going to do a lip, go off camera and do a lip combo. And I will be back shortly. Okay, everybody. I am back. So let me uh, round out my thoughts. I think it's a pretty good collection. Um, you know, you probably have the color palette you know, in your collection and depending on your collection, if you love nudes and things like that, I certainly do. Um, but, you know, it's nice to have something that they work very well, the, the, the eyeshadows and pigmented so you can see them on my skin tone. And the lipsticks are great, probably to me, the better product part of the collection. And this is my final combo. I went with the, in the middle, the center, Nubian Sands. Uh, like I said before, I was gonna line my lips with Natasha Denona's Lala. And the lip gloss I went with was Mirage. And that's the final, final application. All right, so uh, let me know your thoughts about the uh, new collection from Juvia's Place. Again, it's called the New, uh, Nubian Earth. I think I mentioned that it was some, I think I said something different earlier, but it's Nubian Earth Collection. Um, and there you go. All right. You guys have a great day and a great holiday as well. Thanks again. Oh, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you are interested in seeing more. I'm not as consistent just yet, but I am working towards that. Okay. All right. Thanks again, you guys. Have a great one. Bye.